Hey everybody, it's Flexor and welcome back to more Paper Mario Thousand Door. Last time, we... Well, we beat... We went through the interludes. <laughs> Not really much else to say in that. And we held the map aloft again, so... There's that. Um, th that was written in Princess Peach's email. The legendary treasure is actually the spirit of an ancient demon. And those fiends want to use the power of the Crystal Stars to resurrect it. How bone-chilling. Bone-chilling. It's actually the name of a boss in Super Paper Mario. Sadly, it does seem to be consistent with what I've uncovered. What have you found out, Professor? Hmm, this is rather long, so you'd best listen well. Are you all... are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, you listen up too. Or in this case, in front of a computer monitor. Or my... or more likely cell phone, for you, those of you watching at home. Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Heh, <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> uh... Alright, the great cataclysm that I read about in that book may well refer to this demon. It says that a monster destroyed a large town that once stood on this very area. It also says that the seven crystal stars were actually created by this monster. And that this thing used the power of crystal stars to try to control the world. According to this book, the demon was defeated in the end by four heroes. Uh, sounds a lot like Super Paper Mario with the whole four heroes things. But only the beast's physical form was destroyed. Its spirit could not be eradicated. So the heroes used the crystal stars which they had stolen from the demon. And they cast the evil beast into the depths of a vast maze and sealed the exit. From this, I gather that the crystal stars cannot distinguish good from evil. So if they're all united, they could either seal away or resurrect the demon. It seems that who wields the crystal stars determines if they're used for good or for evil or good. I guess we ought to consider not collecting the crystal stars then. It would be awful if we found them all, only to have them stolen for evil purposes. Does anyone think it might be just be better to destroy them once and for all? And that was my first thought, too, but further research suggests we can't do that. There's a slight possibility that the Thousand Year Door is weakening. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years, so once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? The fact that those goons want the stars now may be coincidence, but maybe not. In other words, we must be ready for the demon's return, even if the x knots fail. Oh, I guess we'd better find the rest of the crystal stars then, huh? Where do we start? Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be somewhere on Keyhole Key. Keyhole Key? I'm none too familiar with the place, but I've heard countless unsavory rumors. You know, the usual stuff, vengeful spirits, full of hatred, evil curses, things like that. I'm sure the sea salt's down by the harbor no more. You should head there first. Alright. Anyways. Atomic Boo. Alright. Yeah, anyways. Um, actually before we do that, let's go ahead and upgrade Vivian. Actually, there's a few things I do want to take care of before, uh... Oh, I foresaw your arrival. It's not even facing him. Alright. Anyways, so even after this, we'll still have... So we'll be upgrading another... We'll be getting another party member, it looks like. Yeah. Um, but anyways, there's a few things I want to take care of before, you know, we make our way to, uh... To, uh, Keyhole Key. So um, I'm probably gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and get those done now. Yeah, then you may go. Alright. Alright. Um, anyways... First place we want to go, I don't usually come here, but uh, come in here. We got the trouble center here. So basically, this is a little bunch of little side quests you can do. Oh, uh, need an explanation? No. Oh, uh, we have to listen to the explanation. Oh my gosh. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, what we need to check out here um, is the elusive badge. And then, yeah, we'll handle Zestes later. Uh, must explain person. Alright, this, yes. Alright. So let's make our way onto the roof of, you know, yeah. Alright, and here we are. It's Miss Mouse! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm, I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair. Of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeat Hooktail, but nothing. 
I did hear rumors that the finest badge won us to use the win, so we'll need Flurry. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Alright, so basically we gotta head to Hotel Castle and use Flurry, so I will see you guys there. Alright, so here we are. So basically we gotta go to the center of the room, and we gotta blow right here. And here we go. We got the badge that this mouse wanted. So now, we gotta backtrack all the way back to rope. So I will see you guys there. Alright, and now, let's make our way back here to Miss Mouse. <laughs> that face doesn't mean you found the badge. Here we go. Well, this certainly is the badge I was looking for. Oh my, yes. <laughs> now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid that badge. It was a little game of mine. I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Hmm, I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. Because <laughs> I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Alright. <coughs> she kisses Mario again. And Miss Mouse joins your party. So Miss Mouse is an optional party member. You do not have to get her. All she does is sniff out items for us. So things like star pieces, badges, shine sprites, and other things like that. She will face the direction the item is in horizontally, but not vertically. So yeah, not, yeah. Even in um, the remaster, I think it's the same, you know. Basically, that love slap basically has sort of like Bo's ability there, or Bo's, you know, attack from the first game. Anyways, um, I think that pretty much does it for that, so, uh, I think where we have to head to next is um down here because we need to ask about Bobbery. Or we need to ask about getting to Keyhole Key. Hmm. I think it's this guy we have to talk to. Oi, you with the mustache, what's what's this thing? Uh can answer anything. Oh, Keyhole Key, listen mate. Don't ask me about that place. I got no need for a curse from the Pirate King. Huh. There's a ship here, but, uh, it's Flavio's ship and Podley's joint. Alright, so we gotta basically head over to Podley's place, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, so you will find Pod, we will find Flavio in here, this guy. Alright, and what do you want, huh? Who, me, you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Monetary wealth gives me freedom, yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchanged must always long for yet more, ah? Uh? What is missing from my life? The stairs at my very inside, I must know what do I need. Romance, definitely, I'd say emotion. Money, maybe, yeah. Probably thrills. Thrills, you say? Ah, I suppose one does need some thrills every now and then. There is nothing like the feeling of being alone on a mountain shivering to death. Ah, no, foolish, Flavio. Not chills, you silly man. What I need are thrills. Wait, hold the horses. That is it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of, a tr of the treasure of Cortez, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me. A hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money. So basically the other three options, pretty much. So I don't think it would have mattered what you want to have said. Uh, King Cortez's booty. It's on the track. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to go to Key Hall Key. That's all we need. Come on, Flavio. Come on, Flavio. Why talk such questions? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of town. You cannot be believing such a, each stupid rumor about treasure. Some street urchin spews out. Mm. Uh, let's show him the treasure map. Key Hall Key. Mm, known as the Crystal Stars. Oh, the star shaped stone was said to be in Cortez's hoard, so it seems that we must go there. Alright. You have no ship. We, you have a ship. Alright. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we saw it there in the harbor, so. Uh, let's go. Let's head back to the harbor. Alright, and we are here in... That guy looks familiar. 
Ah, yes, so it is you. Uh, well, sadly, a slight pro problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavion, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw ma majesty of her hull, hull, the pomp and the circumstance, none can compare to her. Ah, behold the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts you, she cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? But she is not just a beauty, she is a savage beast on the water, top among sailboats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, so we need a navigator. Hmm. Oi, Flavio. Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Do not tease me, Papach. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. Well, sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery. A salty old sea dog, by all accounts, sir. But he's said to have the helmsman torch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the season plate. Bassa boom! Problem solved. Let us scout out this bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That would be you, Mark. Uh, so basically, we gotta pretty much take care of his dirty work for him. Uh, so let's go find bobbery. Anyways, I know where Bobbery's at, so I will see you guys there. Alright, so basically, first thing we gotta do is we gotta use our baby Yoshi. We gotta use Daddy. Fly over here. Um, come up here, of course. And then we gotta come over here. Roll ourselves into a tube and come down here. And we are greeted. What do you blocks want? Alright, well first, I want to come in here, because there's a Shine Sprite in here. So let's get that. Alright, now let's go talk to Admiral Bobbery. You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take your search, Esler. Now away with you. You seek Admiral... Okay. So basically, we gotta go talk to Professor Franklin now. Bobbery? That old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Hmm, so it seems that he lied to us. He is the sailor that we seek. Admiral Bobbery, I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. Now, if you please, drop the axe, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Humph, what puppycock. Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. Hmm? So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set, sea upon the set sail upon the sea never more. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keyhole Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy. But when I say no, what I mean is no. <laughs> Alright, so he's not going to help us. Anyway, I think that pretty much, since we're running a bit low on time here, um, so, next time on Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, we will be pretty much trying to find a way to get Bobbery's help. Yeah, we'll find out someone who knows what this dude's deal is. <laughs> so, like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, want to be notified when I post down, so you should check out our parts if you like this one, and I will see you guys later.